Okay, here's a question where you're asked to solve this uh, by completing the square. So complete uh, the square. So when you're completing the square and you see a number out front of the x squared, that's one where you want you, uh, to complete the square. It either has to be the number out front has to be a <coughs> excuse me, perfect square or you have to get rid of it. If you have an equation like this one, probably the easiest way is just to divide everything by 3. So I'll rewrite this as x squared plus 5 thirds x minus 2 thirds equals 0 over 3, which is just 0. Okay, so I, I divided everything by 3. Now I want to isolate these two terms here. So I'm going to move this 2 thirds to the other side. So it'll be x squared plus 5 thirds x equals 2 thirds. Now I'll complete the square with these two terms by dividing this middle term by 2. So 5 thirds divided by 2, or you could go times by a half, and then square that. So that would be 5 over 6 squared, or uh, 25 over 36. Okay, so divide this by 2 and square it. So I have x squared plus 5 thirds x plus 25 over 36. That makes it, this a perfect square. Is equal to 2 thirds, but since I added this on this side, I can add it on this side and not change the equality. Now to factor this, it's always this part right there that goes in there. So it'll be x plus 5 sixths squared, so this factored would be that, is equal to whatever this comes out to be. I think it's 24 over 36 plus 25 over 36. So I have x plus 5 sixths all squared is equal to add those 49 over 36. Now I can use the square root principle, so I'll square root both sides. So it'll be x plus 5, 6 is equal to a plus or a minus 7 over 6. Because both of those, just by luck, uh, were perfect square roots or perfect squares. Now I've got two equations. So x plus 5, 6 equals a positive 7 sixths. Or x plus 5, 6 equals a negative 7 sixths. Solving this side, I get x is equal to 2 sixths, or 1 third. So 7 sixths minus 5 sixths. x equals 2 sixths, or 1 third. And then on this side, I'll get x is equal to, I think that's negative 12 sixths, or negative 2. So negative 2 and 1 third are my answers. If I take them back in there, I could check in the original equation whether those are correct or not. Hopefully that helps.